This example explains about workbook and worksheet object in Excel VBA programming. Top level object in Excel is Excel itself that is application and then next level is workbook and then next to workbook is worksheet or sheet and then range and then cell so this is top to bottom hierarchy of objects in excel so let's understand with example so i'll go to developer tab and then here we have insert option where we can see form control and activex controls from activex controls i'll select a command button and then i'll drag a small command button here now by using vba code let's understand the hierarchy of objects so i'll double click on this command button so that i can write some vba code on the click event of this command button so first line of vba code i'll write here range bracket inverted commas a1 dot value equal to hello world you might be thinking that why hello world this is the very basic and very frequently used keyword while learning any language so what this line will do it will write hello world in a1 cell on the active sheet so active sheet active sheet as of now is let me show you named as monday so let me minimize this vba editor let me click on design mode so that i am out of design mode and i can click on this command button and we can see that hello world is written in a1 on the active sheet that is monday now let me click on design mode and then double click on this command button so let me write a inverted comma not inverted comma just comma to make this line as comments so we can convert any vba code into comments or non executable code by putting just comma before any line so next and i would say next level of object is sheet so for that what we can do is let me copy this code and here instead of active sheet i want to write same hello world but on the next sheet which is named as tuesday that we can see at bottom so what i'll do here i can add worksheets object and then inverted comma not inverted comma just bracket then we can give name of sheet in inverted commas which is tuesday in this example dot range a1 dot value equal to hello world now what we can expect from this line that hello world will be written on sheet named tuesday in cell a1 so let me minimize this let me click on design mode now i'll click on this command button and let me go to sheet named tuesday we can see that hello world is written so this is how we can make use of object level and write or perform any task on any specific object so here this was just the case of range and then this range is available on multiple sheets so to provide instructions 
for a specific sheet i have used object of worksheets now what about we have multiple excel files where we have sheet named tuesday on more than one excel files so in that situation what we'll do so let me make comment to this line as well and make use of workbook object so i'll copy this code and paste it here and before worksheets i'll write keyword as workbooks and i will specify name of excel file or workbook in this case it is book 1 dot worksheets which is already there this time let's write something on sheet name friday so if we use vba code by following all the object hierarchies we can say that we are writing vba code in a robust way and there will not be any error now let me minimize this click on this command button let's go to friday and we can see that hello world is written so let me go to vba editor and understand this vba code so this is the vba code that we are starting from workbooks then worksheets then range this line if we remove this comma will work for worksheets and then range this line by removing this comma is directly writing into cell a1 or i would say range a1 in excel one object can have another object that we will learn in further videos thanks for watching